Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at a couple films that made the Best in Fest nominee list of the Short Bus to Insanity Film Festival that's going on September 21st in Des Plaines, Illinois, at the Des Plaines Theater. I had the honor of being a judge for this short film film festival, and I decided to bring you my thoughts on a number of the films that did make the nominee list. Now, two of the films on the nominee list I've already reviewed. Reviewed. That's Year of the Ox, as well as Leaf Blower Massacre, and check out my reviews of those films there. They will be showing at the festival, along with uh, these two films and many others. The two films I'm going to cover today, uh, one of them is called Libby Surprise! Yes, Libby Surprise is actually an a episode out of a web series, I'll put the link down below, uh, that's created by Janet Mason, and she basically writes, directs, edits, does everything. It's a one-lady show that she puts together. Together, uh, where she shoots the exploits and comes up with these exploits that her dog does when she leaves the house. So it's stories, little short stories of what, what crazy things the dog does with his buddies when she's gone. And it's cute. It's adorable. And if you like dogs, you're going to love this web series. She's got a channel with a whole number of episodes on them. The one labeled Surprise is the one that made the nominee list. And you should definitely go to the festival and check it out. Uh, animal lovers, I really highly recommend this series. It's cute. I, I like dogs. I'm a little softy for dogs. And I got to admit, I found myself really enjoying the series and smiling. She does some interesting things in there and definitely has it edited and directed it well to convey some kind of emotions even from her animals uh, that she shoots on, on the, with the camera. So definitely excellent work there by Janet Mason and Libby. Surprise! I can see why it made the nominee list. Another one that made the nominee list was Dracula's Orgy of the Damned. Now in this one, it's directed and written by James Bach, who gives us the story of Patricia Hughes, played by Claire Fluff Llewellyn, who you might remember from Conscience, uh, that we reviewed at the Madison Horror Film Festival. Plus, I got to interview her. Uh, she plays Patricia Hughes, who is under the influence of Dracula, who uh, she's basically one of his victims, but he didn't kill her. Okay, so she's looking at trying to remove that influence and also get revenge for what he did to her. And Dracula here is played uh, brilliantly by Ron Fitzgerald. If there's a guy in the independent cinema you want to play Dracula, Ron Fitzgerald really fits the bill. He can get that creepy look to him. He was in Year of the Ox. And uh, he really can just uh, drive that creepy image and, and portrayal. He does that so well. And he definitely does well as the role of Dracula. In fact, they, uh, most of the cast and crew do really well with this film. But the only problem I had with Orgy of the Damned was kind of the up and down with the camera work. There's some shots in here, one of them in particular, where they shot it during a blizzard because you couldn't make these effects up. That looked beautiful. Were fantastic shots. I loved it and loved the fact that they actually were out in a blizzard shooting this scene. Hey, independent films, you get what you can, right? And But then there were some scenes where you could see uh, equipment in the background, you could see tripods in the background that didn't quite fit the setting of where they were. And so that took me back a little bit. I, I, if you just get a glimpse, it's okay, but they were very noticeable. And the lighting for some of it was real made it really difficult to tell what was going on in some of the scenes so some of the technical work was rough in this film but the performance in the story i really enjoyed how it played out and i can also see why it made the best of fest list if these films sound interesting stay tuned i'm going to bring you a few more uh in the next episode of these uh, nominees from the best of fest list and you definitely should check out if you're in the area des plaines illinois the short bus to insanity film festival where you can see these films as well as many others. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuck.